it's blowing up. Oh my god. Girl, let me do my intro. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to do anything on a Monday. Yo, welcome to the vlog, Annie DeRusso vlog, Monday concert vlog. I just got done with work, as you saw. I'm pretty much ready to go, honestly. I've kind of just like changed my outfit mostly, put some makeup on. That's about it. I'm gonna not be multitasking right now. If I could describe myself in one way, this is how it would be I'm trying to do. Trying to like keep up with the group chat, make a vlog, finish up my end of the day tasks, and take care of my cat all at the same time. It's truly great. Uh, now I hear people asking when they want to dip. <sighs> okay, Annie DeRusso though. Like, why do I care about her, right? Where I feel like every concert I go to, I gotta, I gotta give the spiel on why I'm going. And this is a really fun one, not fun, but like interesting one. One of the very, like when you go through something traumatic or you're in like a feels type vibe, whether it's happy or sad, whatever, there's usually, I feel like a song that I associate with that memory or that time or like getting over something or whatever. But Annie DeRusso's song, Nine Months, I don't even know how the fuck I found that song. Someone told me to listen to that song. If you did, thank you, but Bottom line, that song got me through my engagement ending, and it is such a cute little sweet song, and it just fit my scenario perfect, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And she already said she's playing her whole set list, or her whole set list, her whole discography tonight, because she only has an EP and some singles and a little other blibble labs. But I'm just so fucking excited to hear that song, and a lot of her other music I've really vibed with too, emotionally. And it's just gonna be this like healing journey on a Monday. So I'm excited. And I'm going to another show this week on Thursday. So I'm just really getting into it. Um, yeah, but I made the promise to myself that I'd be going to more shows since I moved here. And so I'm following through with that promise to myself and I'm really excited, especially for tonight. It's gonna be super fun. So I'm probably gonna just hang out here for the next hour probably eat something drink some water and uh yeah then i'll be vlogging on my phone the rest of this so enjoy this high quality cat <laughs> if you're watching this i love you you just sent the funniest text ever but okay stay tuned this time just to feel like a child realizing it was only ever the beginning <gasps> then i went outside it's okay here's the fit don't mind this ginormous conglomeration i have here but cute i had this picked out before it was 40 degrees and raining all day so this is what we're rocking underneath super cute Look at those calves though, flicks. I think that honestly I should just rock the biker shorts, the tall wool socks, and the button up with the demonias, obviously. Duh, those are every, every fit, everywhere I go. You can't tell I'm a little antsy to leave. I wanna go now, I'm ready to leave. But it's too early, too early. Bedroom floor is who I was before. Three hours later. Okay, so we're in between sets right now. I just want to show my merch that I got. I got the junior shirt. Here's got all these new things on me. Here's us. Stop number three. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I also got a sticker. 
don't have a car because I sold my car when I moved to the city. But I'm gonna put it somewhere special. smart you are or anything like that um, and when I realized that I wrote this song um, and I just want to say if you're in a situation like that don't isolate yourself from your friends because your friends rock that person telling you your friends don't rock probably fucking sucks yeah. all that to say this song is called infinite jest <laughs> sound of his own voice so it makes sense he thinks he loves me Several song-filled hours later. Well, y'all. <clears throat> well, y'all. It is the next day. I survived. It was a really good time. Honestly, I'm obsessed with that venue. Lincoln Hall, for the win. Go if you can. The Rico show was supposed to be there, and I'm low-key sad it's not anymore. But it's okay. It was kind of small. So hopefully the place we're going to for her is bigger. But the show was great. Annie DeRusso Live was great. Hannah Cole was great. Overall, the company was great. I just had a really great Monday night concert. And I'm um, just really feeling good about life. And I'm excited for May. And it's here. So here's to more fucking shows. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this mess of a vlog. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.